Hey, this is Cody again for part two. Uh, this is after the interview. You already got the wireless retail sales consultant job. So what to expect going into it? Uh, no matter what company you go with, you're going to have um, pretty extensive new hire training that they'll go over with you, teach you everything you need to know, or hopefully everything you need to know. A lot of times you'll still have to pick up a bunch of stuff when you get out, but you'll know the basics of it. The number one thing I have on the list of going into the job after training is don't listen to negativity from peers. In that job, there's going to be a lot of turnover. Uh, it's going to be a lot of people that aren't good at the job, so they're going to have a lot of negative things to say about it, try to bring you down, give you bad habits. Just uh, go in there with a positive attitude and don't, don't let that affect you at all. Don't, just let it kind of roll off your back. Number two I have is pay attention and ask questions. So when you come out of training, there's going to be a bunch of stuff to pick up, a bunch of things you need to pay attention to, and then there's a lot of things that you need to ask. Don't just do it. Don't just jump out there and, and want to be confident in front of a customer and just know everything. You're going to have to ask a bunch of questions. Find the right people to ask, whether it's management, peers that have been there and are successful that you can trust, and uh, just ask and ask and ask and ask. You'll have to ask almost everything for your first few months and until you've seen that scenario um, and so your second or third fourth time and you're comfortable with it know what to do uh, number three put yourself out there quick and jump in uh, coming out there some managers will let you just kind of shadow or sit back and do your own thing for a while um, just right off the bat you want to put yourself out there you might not be able to help with everything but you don't want to be that person that's shy and not talking and, and just out there, you know, to themselves. Go ahead and jump in and, uh, and and just get after it. Number four is always aim to learn something new, whether it's books, audio, trainings. Uh, my personal is Grant Cardone. I love Grant Cardone. He has a bunch of awesome stuff. Uh, you can follow him on Twitter as well, at Grant Cardone. Um, just, just tons of stuff, tons of stuff that that he can help you with. There's a bunch of uh, motivational things, people that have been there, done that, that can help you out. Um, that that I always learn something new. I listen to his podcast, listen to his uh, GCTV, all his new stuff that comes out. Have all his books, his audio with the books. Um, just just nonstop learning something new, and it doesn't have to be one person. It can be multiple people. I listen to multiple people. I just like Grant the most, and it's something that he's nonstop coming out with new stuff, and I love it. So find something that works for you, and just learn something new every day. It doesn't have to be outside of work. It can be. Um, trainings that you do at work, it can be learning from veterans that can teach you some, teach you some things that, that you can pick up on. Uh, just always aim to learn something new every day you go into work. Number five, um, when you're selling, never think with your wallet. You always want to pitch everything, hit every zone, and offer it as if they can buy everything. Uh, it's not your job to, to assume they do have the money, don't have the money, are interested, not interested. You need to show every, everything to everybody. When you find out what works, stick with it and build off of it. Um, I'm a big sports fan. If you got any sports fans out there, uh, you'll find all the the great ones the in the game today: the Kobe Bryant's, the Dirks, the Tim Duncan's, um, the Kevin Durant's. I say Dirk because I'm a big Mavs fan. If you're not a Mavs fan, then I'm sorry. But um, and actually, I, I'm kind of sorry right now because they're doing they're doing pretty horrible this year. But but anyway, back to the back to the video. Uh, a lot of the things that they do and what makes them great is they don't just assume that they're awesome and they got to the NBA and and they're done. They they look at their peers and things that are unbelievable that their peers do, and they they take those things. Um, my man Dirk has the the high knee ugly fadeaway jumper, and Dirk and or I'm sorry. Uh, Durant and Kobe went out and stole the move and made it their own, and it and it works great. Uh, Kobe got all his stuff from Jordan, and um, I mean LeBron takes a little bit from everything. He he looks a lot like Magic. I mean you can just see a bunch of stuff in in sports that what takes them to that next level is still in moves that that other people have. The same thing in sales. So look at things that work for other people. Um, pick up those things, add it to your sales pitch, make it better, build off of it, improve it. Uh, and just make yourself the ultimate all-star salesman or saleswoman. Number seven, uh, set daily goals for yourself beyond the beyond the stores quota. Um, 
you can break it down between, um, what, what I like to do is just add maybe one a day on top of what my quota was for activations, accessories, depending on how the company you have does. I mean, you can add another 100 bucks, another 200 bucks, or, or if you have um, total quantity, maybe another one or two accessories a day, but add something for your daily goals and, and hold yourself accountable to that. Maybe don't go to lunch until you hit it, or if your manager will let you stay clocked in, um, until you hit that number, just hold yourself accountable and, and don't let it be one of those things where you just make a quota for yourself just to, to make it, um, have meaning to it. And the number eight is have fun and bring energy. Um, in the wireless industry, you got to have a ton of fun with all the customers. Sometimes you're going to have customers that are grumpy. They hate that they're there. They hate you. They hate the company. They hate everything, everything about it. Uh, and you just got to, you know, get those in and out and do what you have to, but um, you got to have fun and bring the energy with every customer. <laughs> they'll, they'll let you know if they're they're into it or not, but the, the more fun you're having, the more you're going to like your job, the more energy you have, the more sales you're going to make, the more people are going to be want to be around you. Uh, so those are just some things to help you out coming right out the gate. Uh, good luck to you. Congratulations on the job. And again, my name is Cody Jordan from Austin, Texas. You can follow me on Twitter at Cody Jordan Atex. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks.